Hi Aquarius. So this reading is titled, What Does Aquarius Person Want to Tell Them? So let's see what this person wants to tell you, Aquarius. Um, this is only for those who want to know. You know, if you don't want to know, just go ahead and click off. It's fine. Um, all right, so let's get into it. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message in terms of what their person wants to tell them. What does Aquarius person want to tell them? All right. So what does Aquarius person? Okay. First card out the King of Wands. So they want to tell you that they desire you greatly. They have, you set them on fire. You know what I'm saying? You set them in terms of attraction, uh, sexual chemistry, sexual attraction, um, you set this person on fire. They love being around you. They love being with you. Um, something about you, your energy, where you're in their heart's desire. You, you, you are who they really desire. So another word for desire, it could be want. You are who they want. You know, you could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or male cancer. Um, this is somebody who's dynamic, who's charismatic, outgoing, could be on the taller side. Um, doesn't have to be, uh, has probably made a name for themselves. Could be an entrepreneur, could be, this is typically the person who's married, but they do whatever the hell they want to do. It's going to be hard to tell the King of Wands he can't do, or she can't do whatever she wants to do. You know, um, that's the energy of the King of Wands. So uh, this person definitely desires you and they want to be with you in some capacity. Whatever it is they have to offer. I'm trying to get this thing to focus. I'm sorry. Um, so that's what they want to tell you. They want to tell you that they absolutely desire you. Let's see. Nope. I might be getting there. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. We're just we're just gonna just float with it. Okay. Uh, what else well, does this person want to tell the Aquarius? What else does this person? Okay. Two cards came out. Um, the full card. Okay, and the three of pentacles, these two cards I don't like together because it's hard to read them any other type of way, especially if you just take time and go and research what the full card means in terms of what a person wants to tell you. And then the three of pentacles, it's almost as if this person wants to tell you that they want a long term, no strings attached type of commitment. They think you're fun, flirty. They also think you're the one. They, it could also be read as maybe they want to learn how to share their life with you. You know, they want to learn how to take things to the next level. They feel like putting in the work with you, Aquarius, is worth the while. Or, or yeah, worthwhile. Um, they think you're dynamic. They think that um, you're fabulous. Yeah, you're fabulous, fit, funny. You're a good catch and some of you don't even know it. Um, they love your innocence because sometimes the fool card can talk about innocence. On the flip side of this, you know, they could be saying they want a new beginning with you to work on this, to put the work in. We'll just read it that way. But on the flip side of it is that they, they want a carefree, because the full card talks about a carefree, no strings attached, fun, flirty connection. And the Three of Pentacles talks about maybe sometimes that long-term uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, side chick, third person type of situation. So they're, they're okay with maybe never taking the relationship to the next level. Let's clarify the, the full card and the Three of Pentacles so we can get you know, a, a more accurate uh, depiction of what this person wants to tell you. What's this person? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Wow. So we got the King and Queen of Wands. So maybe they do want a real relationship with you. 
Um, they feel like you're their perfect match. The full card does talk about um, someone viewing you as the one, the one that they can fall in love with, the one that they're supposed to be with. It's still new. It's still up in the air. But at the same time, this person feels like you're the one. Um, you're very charismatic, outgoing, seductive, attractive, beautiful. Um, a powerhouse is what I heard. You know, this is what this person wants to tell you. Um, let's see. Very vibrant. You vibrate high. Your frequency, your aura, everything about you is, you know, it's on the higher scheme of things, the higher octave of you. Um, again, positivity coming out. How does this person feel about the Aquarius right now? How does this person feel about the, okay. And we've got the Ace of Swords. So they feel like there needs to be some clarity, some truth and clarity between the two of you. Um, there needs to be a clearing of the air. They understand that there's going to be confrontation before they get to victory and resolution. But this person feels like they just need to talk to you. That You guys need to have a real solid um, conversation where the both of you are seeing the truth of the matter. They also feel like there needs to be some irrevocable change made. Okay. Don't go back on what you said. Or if you do this thing, you know, you can't go backwards. And maybe they feel that way for themselves too. Like this would be, um, I don't know, cutting something out, cutting some lifestyle out, or maybe some person or another person. You can't go back on it. Um, I mean, you could always go back to that person, but the thing you can't go back on is the fact that I'm just giving an example. If you, if you tell someone else, I don't want to be with you because I'm going to go be with the Aquarius, then what you can't do is ever go back to that other someone and, uh, and them not know that you chose the Aquarius first, you know? So some irrevocable change here where, you know, you can't really erase it or it can't be pushed under the rug here. Um, they both, it's, it's like you both need to open up to each other. Some, some of, something about this person is saying like, look, how they feel about you right now is that they're just unsure and unclear about where they stand with you also. What does this person want with the Aquarius? What is, okay. Seven of Wands, not a great card. They could want to come in and just, so that's Valor. So they want to win, you know, um, they want to win your attention, your affection. What does this person want with the Aquarius? The Five of Swords, defeat. I don't know if, if they feel like they need to get back at you. Um, if they, if they feel like they need to conquer you, they want to come in and with this destructive influence and get all of your affection, your attention on them, maybe then to just kind of ghost you or put you in the back burner or tell you off or push you to the side or sabotage the connection. They want to come in get your attention and then make you feel defeated by way of their actions or their words go with your first mind when i saw that full card and that three of pentacles i already knew what it was but i i mean i want i want to always read have a positive reading but at sometimes it is what it is you know um what is the seven of wands in the the five of swords the four of pentacles yeah so this person wants to dominate they want to be the domineering one they want to get the relationship back where it was this talks about being at the status quo this person has some unresolved issues that they need to deal with maybe even from childhood they could be holding a grudge against you um yeah so this is why they want to come in it's almost as like they want to fight you not even maybe physically if they don't want to fight you physically, they want to fight you verbally and with their actions. They want to 
They want to conquer you. They want to have valor. They want to defeat you. Okay. Um, they want to put you in, um, the four of pentacles in terms of a relationship. A lot of times it's like stuck, stagnant energy. They want you back in that, in that energy where it's, it's no growth in a relationship. You may feel like it is, you feel like this and feel like that, but the realization of it is no growth. They want the status quo back. If it was just friends with benefits, if it was third party situations sneaking around, that's what they want back. Um, they want you back clingy, stuck to them. Okay. Um, what action will this person take towards the Aquarius? What action will this person take towards the Aquarius? All right, let's see. What action will this person take towards the Aquarius? Okay. Woo, the devil card. They're obsessed with you. I don't know if they're obsessed with getting back at you or doing something to you. Um, they could be obsessed with you sexually, obsessed with the idea of having you or having the relationship. Um, they're very carnal, very worldly based, very pleasurable. Like they're, they're, they seek pleasure and maybe that's what you give to them. Um, they want to have you stuck tied and bound once again to them. They want you to put your energy, set your sight on them so that you can be um, stuck. So that you can feel like you have to unravel yourself again it was fun to have you stuck on them to have you in love with them uh when they weren't in love with you or they have a sick twisted um idea of what love is or how they display it or how they show it uh the devil card okay let's see deck okay and can we clarify the devil card what's the devil card What's this person's next actions towards the Aquarius? What is the devil card? What's the devil card? What's the devil? Okay. The seven of pentacles. Yeah, they want to have you um, in that place of waiting. Waiting for their return if they ghost you. Waiting uh, waiting for um, things to turn around or turn over. They want you back invested in them. You know, with the seven of pentacles showing up. They want your investment of your time, energy, money, love. They want all of it. Um, therefore, you can be stuck. You can feel bound. The devil is about debt or, or feeling indebted to or, or feeling like there's a ball and chain around you. You know, um, like it's going to be hard to get out of something. So this person wants you in a place of feeling like it's going to be hard to let them go. They loved when you were stuck on them. They loved the stuck energy. They loved the obsession. They want it back and they want the investment that you put into them. They also want that back too. They could also feel like they invested in you too and they want to return on their investment. I don't know. What is, what is this person up to right now? What is this person up to right now? What is this person at the Aquarius? Uh, was involved with what are they up to right now what is this person up to right now I don't know if the cards want to tell us okay the seven of swords all right this is what they're up to okay Let's see that queen of pen queen of cups this is that other woman that they may have left you for or they chose over you or that they keep around um, she could be younger in, in nature. Uh, I mean, yeah, in nature, yeah. Yes, that's right. Younger in age. Um, she could be kind of passive in terms of her emotions and how she's feeling. This person could just be engaging in relationships where they're not giving any emotion. They're, they're not giving their heart out because her cup is closed. Yeah, the cup is closed here. So they could be engaging in, you know, carefree connections where they're in and they're out, they're, they're, they're off. Once they get what they want, they leave. They, they're not sticking around. They're not letting grass grow under their feet. They're charming the pants literally off of people. They're going after opportunities that, you know, uh, cause them to, not cause them, but give them opportunity that, to sexual encounter, have fun. Uh, maybe even travel seven of swords they're 
about town, lying, sneaking, being deceptive, trickery, um, magic, mystery. They're creating all of that in connections, in relationships. So for those of you out there who feel like I lost something in not being with this person, in this person choosing someone else, this is the energy that they're offering to other people. Even if other people or other person is their spouse, this is the energy that they're offering. You dodged a bullet. Oh, that's the light. Okay. You dodged a bullet, Aquarius, with the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Okay. This person doesn't mean anybody any good. You know, this person is just not... Um, they don't have much to give but a facade falsehood they want people to think that they're in a relationship a, a nice relationship but at the same time i don't know if this person had been hurt hurt people hurt people you know um they have a false sense of power by going around town and messing with people's emotions in their head and playing mind games also it gives them a false sense of power um, to be in and out, to cut people off and then jump back in when they get good and ready. This person, yeah, they could be disengaging in sex only connections here. They could have a lot of suitors with the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. A lot of people trying to get their attention. They have to beat them off with a stick, literally. Um, they love it. They love the attention. They love to be a destructive influence in people's lives and then leave, offer nothing but destruction. They love to get all of the attention on them. They love to have people fight over them, uh, try hard to maintain their attention, try hard to get it and then to maintain it. This is what this person loves. Uh, <clears throat> let's get some advice for the Aquarius. What is the advice for the Aquarius? So I think for some of you who actually are trying to come to these tarot card readings and get clarity and, and get help or, or hope to move on, I hope that this helped you because this person is still offering the same thing to everyone else. It wasn't just you. It's not just you. Um, so back down off of that idea and know that this is just who this person is. Um, low vibrational, all about maybe materialistic, all about sensation and pleasure and, you know, anything that will give them an adrenaline rush or a dopamine overdose. Um, they're all about that, you know, uh, therefore don't get too hung up on, I'm not good enough or I wasn't good enough or even if this person told you that. If that is true, then they would have a person that they would treat good enough. They treat no one good enough. So this is just the nature of this person. All right. So I hope that helps some of you move on. What's the advice here for my Aquarius? We're 18 minutes. Okay. Um, the advice for my Aquarius. The advice for my Aquarius. Uh, the temperance card. Yeah. Uh, temper your emotions um, go through the healing process know that the the angel of uh, restoration healing Michael is, is, is protecting you is governing you if you feel like you're uncovered not protected um, you feel hurt you feel um, like an outcast do know that you're never alone um, do know that for some of you this card specifically talks about a healthy excuse me, a wealthy marriage happening either for you or in your circle of friends or uh, family members. So we're going to say it's for you, Aquarius. Uh, this is also directly related to the King of Cups, the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, male. Um, it's just asking you to remain balanced. Don't fly off the handle don't go from one extreme to another in terms of your emotions. Um, try to stay balanced. Try to govern yourself accordingly. Uh, let's see. What's the advice for the Aquarius? The Eight of Swords. Okay. 
this person could be wrapped up in their thoughts about you okay immediately I got that they're stuck on you maybe they're stuck on you because you walked away you chose to leave um, maybe you saw right through them uh, this person could want to compromise or try to salvage the connection or come back together um, they're doing something over and over again to maybe even put you in a place of where you're thinking about them heavily uh, where it you kind of deeming this as like a false connection a false twin flame soulmate whatever I don't know um, let's see but it's whatever it is it's not real um, <clears throat> make sure that the negative thoughts are getting canceled out by positive thoughts so one negative thought for one positive make sure that you are um, you're not just overthinking and thinking negatively make sure that you what you think about will manifest so think positively yes it's hard yes it's easier said than done but do do have those positive thoughts okay do have those positive thoughts uh, surface more often than, than the negative the eight of wands something be, could be coming in yeah be cautious of your thoughts here because with the eight of wands here it looks like um something's going to come into you rather quickly here with the eight of wands whatever you're trying to manifest will come into you um what yeah some of your hopes dreams wishes the law of attraction talks about with the eight of wands here so what you are you will attract so make sure that your thoughts your mindset who you are to the very core of you is healthy, whole, ready for a connection. So do the work. If you don't do the work on yourself, you'll go back out into the world and you'll attract the law of attraction. You'll attract um, like-minded individuals who haven't done the work, who still could be, they have their own issues. Now yours could be different, they will be different from yours. Um, and then you may say their, their issues are far greater than mine, but guess what? At the the common denominator is the fact that both of you have issues unresolved issues that you haven't dealt with okay so make sure you don't want to be one of those people who ha hasn't dealt with the issue um because the law of attraction is always working for you or against you for you if you have done the work all right so let's see what else is the advice for the aquarius the ace of cups yeah a new love a new lease on life um, maybe even a new business endeavor that will that could be very profitable um, but definitely a new love a new home something that you can fall in love with is coming into you so uh, the cards want your thoughts and your mindset and your mind state to be positive okay wow yeah good news about money um, about things that you're learning about prosperity um, about the esoteric about the occult about tarot um, make sure that you are listening to only tarot card readings that if you're in the place of trying to bring in newness right then you're not going to continuously listen to old energy you're not going to listen to you know um, he wants to come back or she wants to come back or uh, this person is getting their karma you don't care at this point you just you just want newness right so make sure if, when you are listening to tarot card readings there edifying your spirit they're giving you the information the um yeah the information that you can use to actually manifest the life you want because you don't want to be stuck in a situation where you are um you're, you're continuously thinking about this person all right yeah definitely definitely music too some some music can come into you that brings up uh, old emotions thoughts it says go through it whatever this is coming into you it's going to be a complete change the will of fortune the will of fate it says that the fates are behind the will turning the will for each and every person making sure that they get their accurate fate what is due unto you the will of fortune okay so um the page of pentacles with the will of fortune do know that um study show yourself approved learn grow get enlightenment before you get the tea on what this person is doing and and all of that make sure you get in get enlightenment about how you can grow growth or you'll just bring in the same energy again and you'll be back here looking at tarot card readings for a new person 
So Aquarius, this is the reading that I have for you in terms of what your person wants to tell you. I hope that you took something from the reading. If you did, let me know down in the comments what you took from the reading. Also get your own reading just like this one um, at the website level. You can also ask a question or two uh, by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to. If you took something from the reading, you can always give back. Uh, click that buy me a coffee link and buy me a coffee. All right. Thank you guys. Take care. Many blessings to you.